What's up y'all? Carrie here, your watercolor misfit. And today we are talking about variegated washes. So roll that intro and let's get into this. Once again, if you haven't watched the flat wash or the gradient video, you're probably going to be a bit confused. So I recommend you go check those out first. I will link it somewhere on the screen around you and make sure to check those out first before we get into this. So I'm assuming that you've already watched those. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So today we're going to be filming in my kitchen, which may seem a little bit strange right now, but just hang with me for a minute and you will understand why we are here. Getting back to the subject at hand, if you are a bit confused about what a variegated wash actually is, it's a transition from one color to another. And basically in the middle, they meet and they kiss. Ha! True love. As with the flat wash and the gradient wash, your pillars to creating a perfect variegated wash are ratio, tilt, and bead. So wait, what? You're gonna be using three colors, but I thought Carrie, you just told us a variegated wash is only two colors. So where is the third color coming from? Well, my dear, that is the secret that you have stumbled upon to creating the perfect variegated wash. Hence the reason we are in the kitchen anyway in the first place and the reason why i'm wearing an apron today is because similar to cooking we have to prepare our ingredients before we actually start to cook and that's what we're going to be doing with our variegated wash we're actually going to be preparing our ingredients as you would say before we actually even perform the variegated wash so let's go so now we're back in the art studio and we are going to be preparing our ingredients or preparing everything before we even start the variegated wash, which this is the most crucial part of this whole process. Variegated washes, in my opinion, are the hardest wash that you can do. So if you set this up correctly, it will make it so much easier for you in the long run. So let's jump into this. All right, so how do we actually do this? Well, the first thing that we're gonna do is actually create our three colors in our palette. We're not going to be allowing chance to kind of mix these colors on our paper. That's what I always used to do, and it either sometimes would turn out perfect, and then sometimes it just wouldn't turn out well. So we're gonna take the chance out of mixing it on the paper and actually mix it in our palette. So my first color that I'm going to be using is this ice pink and I'm going to go ahead and get the ratio and everything ready in my palette. And then the last color of our variegated wash for today is going to be this turquoise blue. I'm going to go ahead and get that ready in my palette. And then my third color is actually going to be a mixture of the two. And I'm going to get that ready also inside my palette. Once you are done with this, you're going to start your wash on your paper and it's gonna look similar to a flat wash. You're gonna be pushing that bead downward along the page. After you've reached about a third of the way down, 
you are going to want to make sure you still have a good size bead at the edge of this wash. Then without washing your brush, you're going to actually pick up that mixture color. In my case, it's going to be purple from your palette and ease it just above the bead, blending it similar to a gradient wash. You're going to go ahead and proceed to paint this second color another third of the way down. Lastly, you're going to pick up that third color, which in my case is this turquoisey blue, and you're going to add it just above the bead once again and transition it into a solid color for the last third of your wash. Once again, learning how to manipulate shapes with this technique is going to be your next priority. And that is it for this lesson. If you want to keep up with me and learn more about watercolor and upcoming things that are going on in the background of Watercolor Misfit, make sure to sign up for my newsletter. The link is provided down below. And also I have some very exciting news for you, all my fellow Misfitians. I have finally put together my first watercolor poppy course where I teach you from beginning to end how I actually go about painting an illustration in depth. And we actually had a pre-launch of it and it went really, really well. And a lot of people signed up. They were super excited for just seeing my process and I really break it down, not just teaching you how to paint the poppy, in itself, but also teaching you how to ink, how to mix your colors, and even how to see shadows, highlights, and midtones in an illustration. So if you want to check that out, it is going to be live and public for everyone to see. This is basically a video course that you can take at any time you want to, but it will be available to the public and to everyone June the 7th, which is for me next week. So it's going to be live on Wednesday, June the 7th. So if you want to check that out, I will provide a link down below to give you kind of a sneak peek of what that course is actually like. And that is it. As always, y'all, it's been a pleasure and I will see you next time. <music>